guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video it's my birthday i'm turning 32 wow i know and i thought for today's video we could talk about the gifts that i bought for myself on my birthday what better gifts are there than the ones that we buy for ourselves but before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. And let me know down below, what are you drinking this morning? Okay, this is serious business. I have to pull up my sleeves, fluff up my hair. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first stop is at Sephora. I went ahead and bought some items online and filled my basket with samples. So the first thing that I got from Sephora is this Dr. Jart Ceramidin Hydrating Toner. I have used this before in the past and I always loved it. I'm not currently using it, but since it is quite cold in Montreal at the moment, I think my skin will definitely benefit from this product here. It's a really great toner if you have dry or dehydrated skin. It's super hydrating and Sometimes, because of the sake of this channel, I do test out a lot of different skincare and just switch things up, but there are certain items that I just learned that I should not switch around. Like this toner is fantastic, I like it, so I might as well just keep using it because it has such a nice effect on my skin. So that is the only item from Sephora that I purchased. Everything else from Sephora are samples or gifts. So the first thing that I got is this set here from Shiseido. This is one of those kits that exists online where you can redeem your Sephora points for this here. So this entire skincare set is from Shiseido. It comes with an essence, it comes with a serum, a moisturizer, and an eye cream. I am the most interested in trying out this essence here. I have recently discovered the joy of an essence and this one here has the most beautiful packaging. I love this glass bottle and I'm really just excited to see how this essence fares out. I'm currently using the Chanel Hydra Beauty essence and I love it, but if there's another one out there that I love, maybe I'll buy, but if not, I'll just stick to the one that I have that I know that I love. I also got this miniature of the NARS Orgasm Blush. Now, I did try this several years ago and I actually wasn't a huge fan that I remember, but I'm interested in trying it again because this does seem to be the holy grail peachy glow blush for a lot of people. So, you know, I saw it on the website and I find it very rare that Sephora has samples that I actually want. Usually they have products that I have no use for, but at least a blush I know I can actually use up and it's a fairly good size. I think it's a good travel size option. I'm not sure how much um, product is in here. It's about, it's 3.5 grams, which seems like a, a fair amount of product. So anyway, I will give this a shot in the next coming weeks. So another sample that Sephora had that I was extremely excited about is this Tatcha face cream. This is their dewy moisturizer. I have heard amazing things about this product, but it is quite expensive. So at least with this sample here, I can try it out and see if I actually enjoy it without splurging for a full size. So I'm glad I was able to get the sample. There's five milliliters of product, which is a pretty decent amount for you know a sample. So I'll be able to try it out and see if I actually like it. And then last but not least, I got this little sample set from Kerastas, which is a shampoo and conditioner for drier hair. I don't usually have very dry hair, but in the winter, I feel like you know my skin and my hair <laughs> needs a bit more moisture. So these are just sample size, so I'll be able to test them out. I'm more interested in the moisturizing conditioner. I find that that makes a big difference on my hair, in the frizz at least, so I'll give this a try. Correction, this is last but not least. As you guys know with Sephora, when you are a member, you can get a birthday gift every year for your birthday. And this year, they actually had a few options that looked interesting. This one here is from Briogeo. It's a hair care set. You have a scalp cleanser. This is the Charcoal and Coconut Micro Exfoliating Shampoo and the Don't Despair Repair a Deep Conditioning Mask. So my hair will be glowing in the winter months. However, there was also a set of body butters, I think, from Sol de Janeiro, the ones that have those coconut scented body butters that was also very tempting. But I went with this one here. I'm just really happy that they had good options for the birthday gifts because I feel like some years 
The birthday gift options are a bit lacking, but I feel like this year they have good options. I'm just excited to try these products from Briogeo because this is another brand that I haven't used, but I've heard great things about. So at least these sample sizes are a great way to initiate myself into the brand. And just as a quick side note, I did get a few samples of the new Hourglass concealer and also of the Dior concealer. So if you guys want to see a side-by-side -side comparison of these new products, let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, let's move on to Chanel. I bought myself a few beautiful items, some splurge items, but let's go ahead and talk about them. So the first thing that I got that was on my list was these Chanel Chance perfume pencils. Now, these come in this beautiful box. It looks almost like a box of matchsticks. That's what it reminds me of. So in the box, you have the Chanel Chance, Chanel Eau Tendre, Eau Fraiche, and Eau Vive. So you have a full set and it looks almost like a crayon, like a Crayola crayon. That's what it reminds me of. Something about this just looks so beautiful and girly and extra. I mean, perfume pencils, what? I thought that hair perfume was as extra as I could get. I was corrected. Perfume pencils are the most extra I can get up till now. Who knows what they'll release in six months, but I am so happy to have these. I will definitely do a review for you guys very shortly, but I just wanted to share this with you guys and I just love it. The packaging is beautiful. The pink is wonderful. Just everything about this is so wonderful. I'm so happy that I got it and I will be doing a review very shortly. Next up, I got the Le Blanc Rosy Light Drops. Now, this is part of the new Le Blanc Spring 2020 makeup collection and these drops are absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure if it's an illuminator or a highlighter or both. I will definitely do a full review, a wear test, a demo, etc. with this product here. I think it's absolutely stunning. It gives such a beautiful glowy finish to the skin and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. And then last but not least, my most splurge worthy of splurge items that I got for myself for my birthday is this Ville de Jasmine de Chanel. This is a beautiful facial oil with jasmine. It is absolutely decadent. I think that's the best word I can use to describe it. It has a very light jasmine scent. It's really not overwhelming or overpowering. Overpowering. I'm having a very hard time saying that word this morning, sorry. It is beautiful. So far, I have used it last night and this morning. It is still too early to do a full review, but I will do a review for you guys as quickly as I can. Before I forget, when I bought my items from Chanel Online, I got a few samples. So I got a sample of the Camellia Water Cream, which I know that I love. It's a beautiful hydrating <laughs> moisturizer. And I also got a sample of the Ultra Latte Velvet Foundation. So I have a few shades here. I have B20, B30, and B40. I haven't tried this foundation yet, and I know a lot of you guys had asked me in the past for a review. I also know that there have been plenty of reviews on the market at the moment, but if you want a review of this foundation, let me know and I can do that. So these are the items that I bought for myself or the samples that I finagled for myself online and in person. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments which items you want to see reviews of, which items you have at home that you love, etc. If you happen to enjoy today's video, please like, leave a comment and subscribe. If you are not subscribed, I post a lot of luxury makeup reviews and tutorials. So if you like this type of content, please subscribe and then you can join our community and be in the know whenever I post a video. So I think this is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for joining me on my birthday. I can't believe I'm turning 32. Time flies by. I think I started my channel when I was 29, 28. I'm not sure. I've been on YouTube for a few years now. It's definitely increased in popularity in the past year or so, which is fantastic, but it's just really encouraging to know that, you know, the more I progress on YouTube, the better the community gets, the bigger we grow, etc. So it's just, you know, very nice and encouraging. I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful birthday. I will be having dinner with some family tonight and then tomorrow on Saturday, we're having a house party. I was really um, debating between like hosting a house party or going out to dinner with friends. The pros and cons are 
if you have a house party, you have to organize a bit. You have to do some prep and clean up afterwards. My husband will do most of the cleanup, thankfully, because he's very kind. But, you know, you have to manage that. However, the bonus of staying at home is that you get to stay at home. And when your birthday is in the middle of January, that's kind of a plus when you can invite people to come to your house and you can stay nice and warm in your slippers. But if you go out for dinner, then you don't have to worry about cleaning up, someone else does the dishes, someone else does the cooking, but you have to leave your house. And I feel like when you go to a dinner or a restaurant dinner with friends, you don't really get the same atmosphere because you're at a table and you can't really, you know, it's not the same mood. So a house party it is. And since it's my birthday, I am going to have all the snacks. My favorite snacks are like pub food, pub snacks. So I'm thinking uh, making like a cheesy spinach artichoke dip. Maybe I'll make some of those like cauliflower bites that you drench in buffalo sauce, you know, just like wonderful things like that. I predict that my Sunday will be spent on the couch watching Netflix and recovering from my house party because past the age of like 28 or 29, more than like three drinks, four drinks, my day is uh, much slower than the rest of them. So. That's my weekend. I hope you guys all have wonderful weekend plans. Hope you all stay nice and warm and bundled up. And I think this is all I have for you guys for today. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.